Hi everyone, and welcome to English Digest. I'm Pat, and I'm Cat, and today we're discussing whales. Kind of some pretty bad news that came out of last year related、yeah. to whaling. For sure, we'll try and slightly more positive. Have you ever seen a whale? I have seen humpback whales from very, very far away,、cool. and I've seen dolphins from closer. Okay. Yeah. How about、um, you? Well, I tried. I, <laughs> I went to Hualien and I got on a whale watching tour,、oh. and they said there's a there's a decent chance of whales, a better chance of dolphins.、Mm-hmm. If you see neither, then you will. They didn't say refund. You basically got a kind of a free ticket to come again. I see. We saw a single flying fish. That was it. <laughs> Two hours on a cold boat, and we saw one flying fish. Okay, well, I recommend what I did, which is to go to Elan and take the boat out to Turtle Island because、right. we saw two pods of two different kinds of dolphins. Wow! Yeah, dolphins. I've I've seen a couple of dolphins in Thailand in the river over there, but not not whales. It's kind of one of those like one day I'll see a whale. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to talk today about whales. We're going to talk about a country that is deciding to kind of hunt them again for business, but also、yeah. why whales. Are important and hunting them is not necessarily the best idea. Right. So let's read through the article this month's News Digest and find out what's going on. In 2019, Japan withdrew from the International Whaling Commission (IWC), a body dedicated to whale conservation and whaling management. Up to that point. Japan had skirted the rules on hunting whales by having Japanese ships in the Arctic kill whales for scientific research. Once the carcasses reached Japan, they underwent processing for sale as food. However, Japan has resumed commercial whaling within its territorial waters. The country joins Iceland and Norway in defying IWC bans. Even though the Japanese market for whale meat has been in decline since 1962, but the economic reality of whaling in Japan is far from the most important factor in the nation's decision. For older Japanese people, whale meat has the flavor of national pride and the scent of nostalgia. After World War II, American-occupied Japan turned to larger-scale whaling to feed its population. Whale meat fueled the country's energetic recovery and helped it become the technological and economic powerhouse it is today. But today, demand for whale meat is lower than at any other time. Public policymakers and educated observers think that the commercial whaling industry in Japan will not survive this downturn. Environmental activists are glad, since whales provide many benefits to ocean ecosystems. Their waste acts as fertilizer and food for many plants and creatures that actively reduce carbon in the environment. This helps combat global warming. Furthermore, when whales die a natural death and fall to the ocean floor, their bodies re-enter the food chain and help keep the oceans in balance. Activists hope the decrease in demand for whale meat. And the growing public concern about environmental issues among Japanese citizens will be the final nail in the whaling industry's coffin. All right, so we are talking about the nation that has returned to commercial whaling recently, and that is Japan. So this article starts out by saying, in 2019 or 2019, Japan withdrew from the International Whaling Commission (IWC), a body dedicated to whale conservation and whaling management. So when we say they withdrew, to withdraw means to leave something that you had previously been a member of or a part of. So if you signed up for a race, let's say, but then you injured your ankle or you became sick, you might have to withdraw and cancel your decision to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could also withdraw an offer. You say, "Hey, we're going to offer you the job," and then you say, "Ah,、oh, we're going to have to withdraw that offer.、Mm-hmm. Something's come up. We we're going to do things a different way." Yeah, and you kind of take something back that's already been given. That's another use of withdraw. 
Yeah. Or you could withdraw money, which is from sort an, of Yeah, different. from an ATM. Different. Yeah. But you take it out. So it's yes. that whole idea of take out. Yeah. In this case, Japan has taken itself out from the IWC, this body, this uh, international group that is dedicated to whale conservation and whaling management. If you're dedicated to something, that's what your purpose is. It's what you're giving all your efforts and all your energy to doing. So they're conserving whales, making sure that whales are protected, that we still have them, that species don't get wiped out. But also whaling management. This is Japan's kind of reason that they gave for leaving. Yeah. Because when this commission, when this IWC was formed, the idea was to find a sustainable way of whale hunting. Right. And Japan is saying, you haven't put enough effort into making it sustainable. You're just trying to stop it. And for that reason, we're going to leave. <laughs> yeah, that was part of their argument. Part yeah. of the argument, yeah, yes. definitely. But anyway, up to that point, up to the point that they withdrew from the IWC, Japan had skirted the rules on hunting whales by having Japanese ships in the Arctic kill whales for scientific research. Hmm. That's in quotes, scientific research, which means that we're not quite taking it at face value. We're not quite saying that this is absolutely true. Yes. So Japan is saying, oh, no, we're killing these whales for research. We're we're learning about them and mm-hmm. so on. And hmm. then we're going to eat them later. Yes. Yeah, but well, why waste them? <laughs> uh, yeah, so right. we're putting it in these uh, inverted commas here, these quote marks to show that this is not exactly what it seems. Right, it's exactly. It's just what it's being called, yeah. even though that may not be true. And I think that's what we would call scare quotes. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, when we say they were skirting the rules, basically they sort of found a loophole or they found a way around the rules by deciding like, well, hey, in these rules that the IWC has, they don't expressly say that you can't do this. They don't say that you can't kill whales for scientific research. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to use that excuse to kind of do what we want, basically. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. they also decided they weren't hunting in their territorial waters. They were hunting in the Arctic, which is not part of Japan and it's not owned by Japan. Mm. So that was another way that they skirted or got around the rules. Exactly. So as we see, they they said it was for research, but once the carcasses reached Japan, mm-hmm. they underwent processing for sale as food. A carcass is the kind of scientific term for a dead body, basically. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. anything... It's usually used for an animal. We don't often use it for a human, but yeah, if it's it sounds a, dead a little animal, bit harsh for a, human. It would be a carcass. And they underwent processing. So if you undergo something, you go through this thing. Yeah. We almost always use this word for something difficult or unpleasant or challenging. Yeah. You don't say, I underwent some happy times at college. <laughs> you go, I underwent some difficult times. Yes. It was a struggle to get through them. So mm-hmm. in here, they're basically meaning the whale bodies, the carcasses are being chopped up. The useful yep. bits are being taken out to make oil or whatever. And other parts are being made into food in the same way that other animal carcasses are processed to make, you know, the steaks we eat, the burgers we eat, and all the other stuff we buy in the supermarkets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, even plants undergo processing or Mm. undergo some certain sort of mm, something to, to be made ready to eat, that sort of thing. And, however, Japan has resumed commercial whaling within its territorial waters. So now it is not skirting the rules anymore. It's just saying we're not going to follow them. They left the IWC. They are now doing commercial whaling, which means they're whaling for profit and for to actually, you know, commercially sell whale meat. Yeah, they will sell it to their own people. They'll also sell it to other countries. There are other countries where whale meat is eaten mm-hmm. and they will buy from Japan. Uh, Russia doesn't whale anymore, but I think people in some people in Russia still have whale meat. Right. And also Russia has kind of protested against the IWC's rules pretty recently as well. Mm. There are actually a lot of other countries that are allowed to whale if it's uh, kind of local indigenous populations mm-hmm. doing it because it's one of their only food sources. Yeah, exactly. Canada kills more whales than any other country yeah, because and it's mostly, of um, the people in the north. Yeah, the Inuit people and the, the tribes that, well, there's basically 
basically there's almost nothing to hunt there. So、yeah. if you get a whale, that provides meat for an entire season for your whole tribe. Yep, the Faroe Islands in also in the far north also、yeah. do whaling、uh, and Greenland. And everybody eats the whales. Yeah, you know, it's kind of and there are limits to what they can kill for their subsistence. So、right. it does happen in other countries, but Japan is just saying no. We're out of the group. We're not going to listen. And they're not the only country. We see that the country, meaning Japan,、mm -hmm. joins Iceland and Norway in defying IWC bans, even though the Japanese market for whale meat has been in decline since 1962. So if you defy something, you basically say no. I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to do what you tell me. I'm not going to pay attention to that rule you've created because、uh -huh. I can just avoid it without actually suffering any punishment、yeah. by leaving the group. So what are you going to do now? Yeah.、Exactly. So neither Iceland nor Norway are part of the group. They're both saying, you know, we're not happy with this rule. We're just going to ignore it. We're going to do what we want. Yeah, and we'll take the consequences. And they might have their own reasons for defying the ban or deciding that commercial whaling is something that they want to do or need to do,、mm. because Iceland and Norway have a very different climate than Japan. You know, whaling、yep. might for them also be a major source of food. Yep, and and、uh, income for countries that don't necessarily have lots of other ways to create income. That's so true. So that's why it's commercial whaling rather than、yeah. just subsistence whaling. But in Japan, the Japanese market for Whale meat has been in decline since 1962. Now, when we say something is in decline, that means it's going down, it's decreasing. There's less demand for it, and just not as many people want it. And that's that downward line has been happening for almost 60 almost years 60 now. Almost 60 years, yeah. Yeah. So、Some、it's time. Yeah, exactly. It's you know might be a very slow decline. Otherwise, there wouldn't be still a market for it.、Mm -hmm. But It has been going down steadily for 60 years. That's right. Less and less whale meat is bought in supermarkets or restaurants、mm -hmm. every year. Yeah. But as we see, the economic reality of whaling in Japan is far from the most important factor in the nation's decision. So, economic or economic is all related to economy, related to money, currency, buying, selling, kind of money going round. Yeah. So the economic reality is. The pressures of the economy. If, you, if the economic reality is you have to do this in order for your country to survive,、mm -hmm. that's what you do. But we're saying that it's not the most important reason. There isn't a big case for Japan saying we have to kill whales because it's the only way our country can make money. Yeah. So they're saying it's a little part of it, but it's. As we see with the market in decline, it's far from the most important factor. It's nowhere near the most important factor. It's not killing whales for money and for its economy. It's doing it for other things. Yeah. And so, what are these other things? Well, the next sentence says, for older Japanese people, whale meat has the flavor of national pride and the scent of nostalgia. Now we're、mm. using kind of metaphor here. They're not actually saying that it tastes like pride and smells like nostalgia, but it's it's got the These emotions that it evokes in older Japanese people, so it makes them think of like the pride that they have in their country, and nostalgia, which is a really interesting feeling that I think is、um, something that everybody experiences at one point in their life. Absolutely,、yeah. nostalgia is this kind of longing, longing for. Old times, yeah, the for past, good old times. A particular period in the past, you kind of look back and you think things were better than I like、yeah. those times. Or I miss this particular thing that used to be in my life and now no longer is. So、yes. if you look back on being a kid and you remember the good times you had as a child, and you're not able to do that anymore for one reason or another, that's that's a feeling of nostalgia. Yeah, and a lot of people get that about their country and、yeah. and kind of think their country was better at a particular point in history. Things were simpler. Things were, you know, everybody could work. That kind of thing. They look、yeah. back on a time of economic prosperity, and they kind of go, "Yeah, I, I wish things were like that a bit more." Yeah,、I、kind of would like to go back to those times. Not all the time. I like the modern technology and healthcare, but yes, for sure. I, I will. I would like certain aspects of the past. Yeah, and it sounds like they. 
kind of feel that way when they think of whale meat, which、mm. means that it's related to something in the past. Yeah, we see that after World War Two, American occupied Japan turned to larger scale whaling to feed its population.、Uh-huh. So American forces, the army occupied Japan after the war to make sure that Japan didn't kind of continue with stuff. A lot of people had died in the war. The economy had been shattered. A couple of cities had been destroyed by、yeah. the atomic bombs. It was a very difficult place. Oh, without the ability or the people to grow a lot more food to feed everybody, they had to kill more whales. And this is what we mean by turn to. Like that was the option、mm-hmm. we had to go for to get everybody enough to eat. We had to kill whales. Right. So it was a necessary thing back then. It was it was important to keep the nation alive.、Mm. So whale meat fueled the country's energetic recovery and helped it become the technological and economic powerhouse. It is today, so that means it didn't just help everybody survive, but it kind of helped them thrive in the end. Which is to say that it helped them to recover and do really, really well. Like、yeah. as we know, J- Japan's economy made this kind of、um, mir- miraculous. Leap, yeah. Yeah, miraculous leap forward up until you know maybe the nineties. Yep, and, and Japan's technology is you know amongst the top in the world for the ability to design and、yeah. new things and so on. And、um, because of that, you know, they became this powerhouse. Yes. So a powerhouse is like a country or a group or a person that is extremely. Good at what they do, and you don't question their ability to do things, or you know they they just are able to keep going. They're able to keep developing. They're able to. Something really that strong, is, in, yeah, really in that strong particular and really category. Admired. Yeah, yeah. I mean,、uh, you often think about it for for countries. For you know, Apple is a powerhouse of set, and Samsung、yeah. and so on. You think of sports. You think of teams like you know Manchester City in England,、mm. Bayern Munich in Germany. They are soccer powerhouses. Yeah,、and、they've just got enough money so that they have continued sustained success. Exactly. All right, we're going to take a short break now. We've talked about Japan and its decision to start whaling again. We're now. Going to after the break, take a look at some other issues related to whales. All right, we are back, and we're still kind of talking about the economic sort of. Consequences of Japan's decision to leave the IWC and the reasons behind it. We are going to talk a little bit about whales themselves、mm. later, but we're kind of talking about the economy still. Yeah, and we're talking about the cons. We were before we were talking about why Japan wanted to do this, but now we're looking at why maybe it doesn't actually make that much sense.、Mm-hmm. We see, but today demand for whale meat is lower than at any other time. So we've said whale meat sales have been in decline. We're now saying they're lower than they have ever been. That's what this particular grammar structure means. They've never been this low. They are the sales are the lowest than at any other time in history. They are right down there. Yeah, it's been in decline for sixty years. It's still declining now. It's probably not going to come back up. So public policymakers and educated observers. Think that the commercial whaling industry in Japan will not survive this downturn. So yeah, a downturn here is a little bit the same as a decline, but it's more of a sudden decline. So it might be implying that Japan has its whaling industry has sunk even more in recent years, and it's it's not going to come back up. They think that the whaling industry in Japan is probably going to end soon because it just doesn't have enough demand. There is not enough justification to.、Uh, Uh, slaughter and sell whale. Yeah, we'll have to see whether this kind of Japan's decision to become commercial whaling country again、mm-hmm. actually does re-stimulate whaling meat, or whether it's just going to finally prove that nope, there's no demand for it. It's、yeah. not a viable industry. We can't make enough money, and then the companies will gradually sort of fold and disappear. Yeah, exactly. So. 
That's what the policy makers, the people who make the laws, and educated observers think.、Uh, environmental activists are glad as well, since whales provide many benefits to ocean ecosystems. So, for an activist、sure. is somebody who is active in fighting for something or fighting against something, basically trying to take action to make sure something happens, laws are changed, things are done, situations are improved. In this case, they are activists for the environment, and they're glad that whales. Won't survive because whales are important not just as beautiful creatures, but also in the benefits they bring to ocean ecosystems, which is the kind of how all the different things living in one area fit together, and what they do, and what they provide, and how one thing affects another thing, and how it's all connected. Yeah. And it's not really a surprise because whales are so large that they can affect a large number of very small creatures. Yes, you can't really leave them out of your calculations no, when you you're、can't. looking at an ecosystem. Yeah. So for one thing, their waste acts as fertilizer and food for many plants and creatures that actively reduce carbon in the environment. This is actually a pretty recent discovery that、mm -hmm. when whales poop,、um, there's a lot of very small things that feed on it, and those. Things can actually kind of take the carbon out of the atmosphere, and the whales can take the carbon out of the atmosphere themselves.、Mm -hmm. And since their bodies are so large, they can actually、uh, hold on to tons of it. Yep, they kind of、whale. breathe it in, and then it、yeah. sort of disappeared from the environment. Exactly. So yeah, it's it's and fertilizer. Uh, when we're talking about something being fertilizer, this means that it makes something more fertile. It's usually talking about something that you put into the ground to help your plants grow.、Um, in this case, it might be something that helps sea plants grow. It would be something that makes. Things easier to grow and to live.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So all these different plants and animals are reducing carbon. Whales are doing it themselves, and we see this helps combat global warming.、Yay. Of course, global warming is the idea that the the Earth is getting hotter because the carbon dioxide and other things in the environment are trapping the sun's heat and stopping it from escaping. So by reducing that amount of carbon, you combat global warming. To combat something is to fight against something. To Maybe stop it from affecting something. For example, we might talk about combating waste. We talk about combating、um, people like bullying at school. We want to combat it. We want to stop、mm -hmm. it. We want to make it not happen. Yeah. So we're going to fight against it with everything we've got. So that's one effect. And there's another. Yeah. So, furthermore, which is a nice little transition word to say what else we are talking about, when whales die a natural death and fall to the ocean floor, their bodies re-enter the food chain and help keep the oceans in balance. Yeah, this is actually an interesting phenomenon called whale fall.、Mm -hmm. When a whale falls to the ocean floor. Their bodies are massive, huge. Yeah, think, yeah. <laughs> think of a blue whale with its, you know,、yeah. its head the size of a bus or all yeah, that. Yeah, that and its heart the size of a car and that kind、yeah. of thing. So all these smaller things that live on the sea floor, like starfish, worms,、yeah. um, all these sorts of things, they swarm all over the whale, and it provides food for. Sometimes years、yep. after it dies, so it it yeah it it helps to feed creatures that、um, maintain the ocean ecosystem.、Mm -hmm. It's very important. For these whales to die naturally instead of being harvested by humans. Exactly. I mean, with any kind of food chain, it's one thing eats another thing that eats another thing that eats another thing, and、yep. and so on. So if a whale is taken out of the food chain, then、uh, all these other creatures are going to go hungry, and so they die off, and the things that eat them die off, and it's it's a yeah it's a, a horrible very... kind of chain of events. Yeah. And so whales' bodies they re-enter the food chain. Sure, they're at the top. There aren't many things that actively eat full-grown whales when they're. <laughs> <laughs> alive and swimming around, you know, killer whales will go for it. And Megalodon sharks, yeah, giant big sharks. <laughs> well, I mean, but they generally will only eat a dead or a baby whale or、right. a wounded whale. They're、yeah. not going to go up. They're to not going to go to adult whales. giant creatures and go. I'm going to try and eat you, you know, because that would be like a house cat trying to eat an elephant.、And、that would、doesn't, not be practical. Doesn't quite work.、No. But I'm sure a house cat would have a chew on a dead elephant. Yeah, for sure. Probably, you know, if it's there. <laughs> yeah, but that so that keeps the you know it keeps the chain going. It keeps the oceans in balance, and it, you know things will grow on it, and、uh, everything will stay how it should. So we move on to the final sentence. Activists hope the decrease in demand for whale meat 
and the growing public concern about environmental issues among Japanese citizens will be the final nail in the whaling industry's coffin.、Mm-hmm. What a fantastic idiom we've got right、yes. at the end of this article. Death related. The, the final <laughs> nail in the coffin. So, a coffin is a big box, usually made of wood or something, that you put a dead person in when you bury them or before you burn them.、Mm-hmm. You would. In the old days, particularly, you would nail that coffin shut with、yeah. nails to stop too much bad stuff happening to the body immediately, or to prevent them from becoming a vampire. Exactly. <laughs>、um, so, therefore, you would nail the coffin shut. So, the final nail in the coffin would be the last thing you do before you put it in the ground. So, it's the very last thing that happens before something is dead and forgotten. So, that's why we use this idiom: the nail or the final nail in someone's coffin is basically saying another step. Almost the final step, if you're using "final," that leads to something being kind of disappeared, dying, being consigned to history. So yes, we the article ends on sort of a note of hoping that this whaling industry in Japan will soon. Be gone. Yeah, we started off by saying Japan has rejoined the whaling commission, and that sounds like bad news. But we're looking at the facts. We're looking at the decline of sales in whale meat, and we're saying yes, Japan has done this, and it's not so good. But maybe this is just like one last sort of effort, and it's fighting. One last gasp. Yeah, and it's fighting against the the forces of economy and history that say this is not a viable industry. People are getting more and more concerned about the environment, and、mm-hmm. will say no to whale meat for those reasons.、Mm-hmm. And so, because of all of these pressures. This whale meat, this return to commercial whaling, will not last long,、uh, and that's what we're hoping, basically, and that Japan will stop doing it. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see what happens in the future. And until then, we are done with our article. Yeah, the, there is one other thing I will mention, which is when I was doing some research to write a test about this article. There、uh-huh. are a few groups、uh, on the coast in Japan、uh-huh. who are allowed to hunt whales because, again, it's one of their only sources of food. Like the dolphin hunt. Something like that, yeah. Well, oh, Japan has、like、a few、one. few communities of of kind of more indigenous people,、mm-hmm. of local sort of tribes who yeah, are like the to, Ainu. That's and... it, the Ainu is、yeah. one of the ones, and they they are they hunt for other reasons, not just to sell the food. They're hunting for the purposes of. We need this meat. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because in Hokkaido, I guess it's harder to find food. It's very cold there. Exactly, <laughs> especially on the on the coastal regions where there's no land for growing food. So, yeah. so yeah, whaling does and probably will continue around the world. But even these groups who hunt it because they need to hunt it are doing it in a way that is sustainable, so that it doesn't affect the global whale populations. Right. In the same way that you know, killing all cows to make beef is not affecting massively the global cow population. Right. Exactly. And things like that. So, yeah, I mean, it probably would be nice if whaling stopped completely, but there are groups that kind of need to do it to keep going. Yeah, and there's, so, it's all a matter of balance.、That's、it's all a、I、matter、think. of keeping things in balance, like any form of hunting.、Mm-hmm. All right, that brings us to the end of this month's News Digest article. Thanks for listening, everybody, for English Digest. I'm Pat, and I'm Cat, and we'll talk to you again next time. Bye bye. See、Bye-bye. you next time.